So what I'm gonna break down for you today is the groups, the gangs, the way the system works with all the different racial groups. And this is how it works. My group, the people I identify with, and if you're white, the people you're rolling with, if you choose to go general population, which is GP in the California prison system, the name of my channel. Why? Because I came in GP and I left GP. We don't talk to PCs. But anyways, this is how it works. You come in, you're gonna be a wood. You're gonna be part of the wood pile if you're, if you're white. There's no way around it. I've said it before, you don't have a choice. My dad went into county jail on assault on a police officer. It was a weird ass scenario where he ended up getting assault on a police officer and he only had to do 60 days from it because they came in his house, kind of fucked him up a little bit and then he ended up getting a case off it. It was his first case ever. So he ended up being good, but this is a thing. My old dad, my dad, he went into county jail. They were calling him Clint Eastwood. He supposed to call my dad Clint Eastwood. And my dad sits down at the table where he didn't know he was supposed to sit by a black and the white boys come up and they're like, hey Clint, the fuck you doing? Get over here, man. You can't sit there. And my dad don't even understand. He's a construction working hard ass motherfucker who's just real. He don't get how the system works. He don't realize that when he walked in, he walked into a gang. He had no choice. He was going to get down or he was going to get the shit beat out of him. And that's how the fuck it is. I don't care if you're 55 or you have one leg or it's your first time and you're 18. If you come in and you don't listen to your people, you're fucked. That's how it works. People always try to be like, I'm going to roll on my own. Watch me. I do MMA. I'm a bad motherfucker. Fuck, you ain't going to do none of that shit. You're not going to do any of it. No one has. It's not going to happen. I'm telling you. Try. I mean, maybe if you're from some other state, shit's different. This is Cali. This is GP. This is how the fuck it is, okay? So as a white boy, you're going to roll in. There's going to be mandatory shit. You're going to mandatorily give up all your info. We're going to background check you. I've talked about paperwork, so we're not going to get too much into that. You're just going to understand who you are and realize that you're part of something bigger than you now, and you owe. You're going to put in work for your people. The white boys are very structured. It don't even matter if it's county jail or reception or level four to level one. There's rules that have to be it. Listen, you have to fucking follow suit. There's, there's just the way it is. We follow the number 23. That's a W. In the alphabet, the 23rd number. That's just what we do. Everything's 123, 23, this, that, or the other. But it's called the wood pile where pecker woods. It's what it is. 85% of us aren't racist. 95% of us aren't racist. I'm not racist. I always say that just to clarify, because there's two there's probably new people on the channel daily. So just get that in your head from here. So I mean the point is is the California prison system is segregated at the fucking every level from county jail down to level two now i'm talking about my time so my time everything was segregated down to level one all the way up but now they've started reintroducing pcs and SOI into the system so that's why i say down to level two now because i guess that's happening i don't really follow much that's going on in the system now i just tell you about how the fuck it happened to me I can only talk about what happened to me. It kind of frustrates me when people say, hey, talk about 6ix9ine, Wes. I don't know 6ix9ine. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I don't. I don't. I don't know about it. So I don't follow that. I'm not speaking on what ifs. I don't understand how people speak about what ifs. I don't know much about shit I don't know much about. But anyways... The other main group, one of the main groups is the Serenios, the Southsiders. When I refer to homies, I'm referring to the Serenios, the Southsiders. This is the largest gang in the California prison system, and they run it. Anybody who says they don't are bullshitting. And we, the white boys, the woodpile, we link up with the Southsiders. We're on the same side of the day room, same set of bars, same everything like that. If they crack it off with the blacks, we crack it off with the blacks. If we crack it off with the blacks, they crack it off with the blacks. We're a unit. So the Southsiders are the biggest, the biggest group, by far the most structured, and they run everything. That's just how it is. There's no way around this. They're from all different gangs, from San Diego 
to Northern California. I've met Southsiders that are from Humboldt County. There's some from San Jose. It's all across California. They have them in different states. I mean, it's the biggest clique by far. So when I refer to homies, I'm talking about Southsiders. When I refer to Southsiders, I'm talking about Mexican Americans that are part of gangs in America, in Cali. And there's all different cliques through every city, many different ones. They all belong to different gangs on the street, different street gangs. But when they come in the penitentiary, they're all one gang. The crazy thing is, is they'll have to unite when they come in the pen. But on the street, they refer to the guy across the way as my enemy. So they'll live on one side of the city and the other side is their enemy. The other gang is their enemy. In some places as small as Orange County, it's street by street where there's different gangs and different people fucking shooting each other over dope, over drug territory, over money, over everything, over power. That's why, that's why, the, that's why the illegitimate funds we seek as criminals are so foolish because so many lives are lost in the process. Now the other group that's on the side of my side of the day room, my side of the yard, which is the whites, the Serenos, and the Paisas. The Paisas are Mexican nationals. They're from Mexico. They're the Mexicans from Mexico. And they ref they usually refer to themselves by the, the part in Mexico they're from. One of my homies, Tiwas, he's from Tijuana. One of my homies, Cholula, he's from that part of Mexico. They always refer to themselves from the part of Mexico that they're from. That'll usually be their name. And then also in the Paisa car is usually Southern, people from Southern America, like the homie, the homie Colombia and the other fools that they refer to where they're from. They're usually the ones who did the biggest weight and push the most. They make the best food. The Paisas are that car. When I say Paisas, they're the people from Mex from below the border that got caught in some beef in America, and now they're doing time in America. So I'm just breaking this down because I get a lot of messages about who are you talking about, Wes, when you refer to this, what is this, what is that? So now we'll move to the other side of the day room, and we'll start with the Norteños. The Norteños are the northern Mexicans. They're referred to as northerners. When I say northerners, they're referred to it's the northern Mexicans. They wear red. The Southerners, the Southsiders, they wear blue. So you can tell by the color right off the bat. The Northerners are more listening to rap and shit and more identify with the black culture. The Southerners more have their own, you know, lowrider style, different culture from, from Southern California. But the Northerners identify more with NorCal, that type of shit. In, in the blacks. I have friends on both sides. I've met good ass people from every one of these groups I'm talking about. Broad generalizations are the epitome of ignorance. If you ever go into a situation and you're just judging people by their background, ethnicity, or anything of this sort, you're a fool and you need to check yourself. So the Northerners are the most structured. They're, they're smaller than the Southerners, but they're the most militant. Everybody knows it. They have people on point all the time. They have a different set of rules that they govern themselves by. Everybody knows they're the most militant. The Southsiders have the numbers and do rule the yards. This is fact. The Northerners are very militant, have less numbers, but they're definitely a force, you know. And these are the gangs. This is how California is. All these people are from different gangs on the street, but when they come in, they must unite. So then we'll go to the Blacks. The Blacks, obviously, it's the Bloods and the Crips. The Crips are blue. The Bloods are wearing red. They're all from different hoods on the street, but when they come together, they're all one unit as the blacks, but then they have beefs where they break down into Bloods and Crips. I've seen a lot of riots with the, with the blacks against each other, Bloods versus Crips. I've seen that happen a lot. It's always what it is. It's always money. It's always drug territory. This is where the criminal aspect lies. This is what, where my problem came from. I mean, my problems in life came from me seeking easy fucking money, wanting the easy way out, and not understanding that anything from ill-gotten means will always be more detrimental than it will be an asset in your life. It just always will be. We can't get around the universal laws like karmic debt. And when we're throwing people's lives away for our gain, we will always lose. There is no way around it. Now, the other groups on the side of the day room with the Northerners and the Blacks is the Others. The Others are the Asians, the Samoans, and anyone who identifies some, some uh, Middle Eastern stuff like that. These are the Others. 
I think they just called them others because that was the next box on the form. It didn't say Caucasian, black, Mexican, or anything like that. So maybe that's why they did it. I don't know. They're called others. But these are these are some of the dudes doing the most time. The Asians in the penitentiary are definitely not to be mistaken. These dudes are always doing a grip of time for murders and shootings. They are seriously like the most calm in the pen. They have a lot of structure. You can tell they're family oriented to by the way they treat their people with respect and everybody else. But these are the dudes doing 25 fucking plus years. They're all doing a gang of time. I never really met any Asians that were doing some small ass bid. I mean, the whole thing is, is the homie Fong, he was doing like 35 years and he was just the most, the downest, coolest fool who just had your back. Oh, you need soups? Oh, you need this? What's up? What's up? I'm like, nah, nah, I can't take nothing, but, but it's good. You know, I mean, a lot of things like some yards, you can't at some yards at certain times, you can't even take something from another race. Some yards at certain times you can, they confront you something, you could get them back. Everything's situational for what's going on at that yard at that time for that reason, because we're just fucking we're trying to avoid a potential riot potential beef because we want to get everybody home the main goal is to get everybody home the people that glorify this shit still and they, they're worried about how much time you did where you did it at who you are other than your character and how you conduct yourself on this day they're fucking confused individuals i want to see how you conduct yourself on this day you want to know how we win we run in a perfect day we master our fucking day and then we repeat that through repetition we gain strength anyone who's scared of repetition anyone who calls repetition boring is foolish and they're gonna they're gonna cause themselves lack of progression through all areas of life repetition is strength and this is in all areas we're gonna repeat shit a lot on this a lot of the growth tactics i'm gonna repeat a lot of times all the greatest books all the greatest teachings they're taught every day all around the world this is what helps us learn to be repetitive, embrace it, look at everything, compare these repetitive topics and, and these mindset tactics that I give you to different situations in life, seeing everything from all angles. This is how wisdom is gained. I want the best for you guys. Don't follow my old route. Don't follow that bullshit that the people around you glorify when you know in your heart it's wrong. The biggest problem we, can, we cause ourselves as humans is trying to convince our minds of something our heart knows is a lie. 